FYI show, welcome back, Dimitri Young, Robert Fick, and uh, we are uh, so pumped today. We got a exclusive. exclusive. I love that. Exclusive. I love that word. Did I say it right? Exclusive. Makes you feel kind of special. Uh, we have Lenny Dykstra here, aka Nails, a great 12-year career in big leagues. He has a son, Cutter, in the minor leagues, and another son, Luke who is in the amateur ranks, and, well, he's going to have a decision to make pretty soon. So um, before we talk about all that. Four-time All-Star? Three-time. Three-time All-Star. Should have been four, but. But before we talk about all we can, that. We can cut that out. That's let's, right. let's, let's get the pink elephant out in the open. Let's talk about prison. <laughs> that sounds so funny, Slow man. Slow down. <laughs> hey, I mean, all three of us had a brush with the law mm -hmm. quite a bit. It sounds so funny for, for me to say, you know, I was in prison. It's like so unreal, but it was real, you know, and in 12-year career in the major leagues, a two-year career in, in prison. Um, I'll tell you, but, you, know, you know, in a crazy way, in a crazy way, Going to, to prison when I did, not not by, I didn't want to, trust me. It actually kind of made me realize, like, what's important and, and, and where am I at in my life and how did I get here and, and what do I need to do to not come here again and, and what do I need to do as a man and as a father, you know? And, and, and so, in a crazy way, I'm not recommending anybody to go to prison to find your life, okay? <laughs> but for me, I mean, it was rock bottom, you know? I mean, the, the next step from prison is death, if you think about it. I mean, because there's nothing worse you can, you can do to a, to a person than lock them up, take away their freedom. I mean, your freedom, once your freedom's gone. So, so, so prison for me was, was, again, it was... Don't get me wrong, it was so hard, and it was, all you do, you have nothing to do, but, but think, you know? Sure. And, and, and Did you work out? No, I mean, see what happened for me, because I was kind of a high-profile guy, they had me in, in like 24-7 lockdown, you know, so it made it even more difficult. I actually read my first book in prison. Wow. Yeah, because, you know, I never That's read. One more than me. Yeah. <laughs> Three more than me. You, you know, I never read when I played baseball. And I didn't read because I thought it would hurt my eyes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it affect my hitting. You know? So, so, so anyway, again, don't get me wrong. It's not. It wasn't an experience that I would recommend. But for me, it made me kind of, kind, kind of be honest with myself. You sure. know what I mean? Sure. So, so anyway, that's. I mean, there's a lot of lot more stories in there. It's, it's a crazy scene in there. I mean, they're here with killers in there, you know? Yeah, you know, like what we were talking about earlier, uh, you know, this guy, uh, I looked up to him as, as a ball Same player here. when I was a kid, you I'm know, a Mets fan. wanted to be like you, and, and I know uh, I know everybody wants to see you succeed, dude. Like, That's uh, awesome, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's something that I can almost guarantee everybody's out there hoping that that you turn it around, it seems like you have, you know, and yeah. you'll, you'll well, be back on top. You've been there before, you know what it takes, and now you probably know what it takes to stay there. So. Right, right. Well, you know, you know, this is the first interview I've done. I, I, I want to, I want to walk, I want to walk. Sorry, it's just done. No, no, it's cool. <laughs> no, it's actually cool. I, no, I'm really happy to be here, and, and I mean, I mean, you guys just, we just met, but I can tell that we're, we're going to be friends, but, but, that said, um, I want to walk the talk. You know what I mean? Sure. I, I, wanna, I don't want to come out and tell people, hey, I'm great now, everything's great, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. No, man, I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to walk the talk like I did when I played. You know what I mean? Sure. As a player, as players, you guys know how it works. You can tell, oh, I'm, sure. man, I'm hitting three, I can hit 330. Let's oh, see what you do on, in between the lines. Sure. So that's kind of where I'm at in my life right now. And, and it's been so nice, I'm so grateful to, to be able to reestablish with my family, re, you know, reestablish. I've always been a, you know, I've always had a great family and they've been so supportive and to be able to work with my kids and talk to my son Cutter every night, 
in, 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 you know, he's playing in Washington in the minor leagues there in Potomac, Potomac. And then my son Luke, I went to the cages with him yesterday, and, and tomorrow's a big day for him at USC for, for a area code game. It's all the best place. You hear that, folks? He's going to be attending USC. Well, I don't know if he's going to be attending USC, but oh, they're, they're, they're recruiting him, though. Yeah, they recruit him. I think it'll be between them and, and uh, Cal State Fullerton, those two. How, so, how tall is he? He's 6'2". Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so remember what you said in the green room about breeding material? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, my wife, our ex-wife, but, you know, you know, we're, we're really getting along well. She's 5'8". She's 5'8", and, and a great mother and a great person, and, and I've been able to talk with her. And, and Yeah, we need to talk off the camera about being able to get along with the ex-wife, especially when it comes to the kids. Yeah, yeah, we do, because I'm doing really well. And, and, again, it's not because I'm somebody special. It's because she is. That's cool. Yeah, and the kids, you know, or they're, they're just, you know, you know, it's just so nice to be able to, to be present for them and to be accountable for them. Yeah, you know what I mean? It, it yeah. sounds like that because I was going to ask, those two years away, what did you miss most? My family, you know, and then, like I said, I don't want to keep harping on it, but it really was the ultimate wake-up call for me.